What's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone's doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test or a test for some other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues and no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Saturday edition of the Virus Update for Saturday, October 12th, 2024. Maybe you're new to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, you just clicked on to today's virus update. Today we're going to talk about COVID, we're going to talk about measles, and maybe some other viruses as well. That's what we do here on my channel. I inform you of what's going on with these different viruses around the United States and around the world. Take a look at this. We are going to talk about Italy first today. Want to stay informed because you're tired of not hearing anything on the news or the government, or whatever the case may be. Maybe you just tested positive for COVID and thought, how can I test positive COVID's over? Let me tell you, COVID's not over. It's still out there, and I will do my best to inform you of COVID and other viruses. You will know about the next wave of COVID probably before you hear about it on the news because I'll talk about it here on my channel. We do videos frequently, maybe not every day, it used to be every day, but now we do them at least five to six days out of the week, and I promise to keep you informed. The best way to help keep yourself informed is subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you of when I post my latest video. And of course, share this video with anyone you know and leave your comments down below. All right, we're going to take a look at a few news stories today. Some daily data, there's one piece of daily data that hopefully by the time we get to it, maybe it will have updated. That's Philadelphia EMS calls. They're behind today for some reason. And then we do have a couple things that I did not show you yesterday. Plus, I have a very important reminder that we're going to talk about for a brief few minutes, and of course, some weekly totals. So today we're looking at probably closer to a 15 to 16 minute video versus closer to 20 minutes. All right, weekly COVID update in Italy for October 11th. This is posted on X. Taking a look here, deaths here, they seem to still... The uh, elevated, they had 100 deaths reported in the past week. Patients in the hospital, that number looks to have gone up. 2,149 people hospitalized in Italy. Patients in the ICU, looks like that is at 71. That's down ever so slightly from last week's report, which was 73. And new cases, this is some good news. New cases did drop some from 13,073 to 11,884. Weekly COVID update continues here with uh, positive people at the moment. And this would show 217,000. I'm assuming that means active infections at the moment. I don't recall seeing that uh, chart posted in the other weeks. And the positivity rate in Italy at this time is at 13%. And the case fatality rate at this time is at 0 0.8 percent that did go up ever so slightly at this time california h5n1 california did report another case of h5n1 this is taking the total this is a human case by the way so this is taking their total now up to six that my friends is relatively concerning Alrighty, i was going to wait until tomorrow to show this it's the wastewater scan weekly data but honestly i don't know if we're going to have an update tomorrow you see, it's Philadelphia Eagles tomorrow. It's football Sunday, which means I go out and do deliveries. It'll probably be busy for deliveries tomorrow. I plan to be out. Don't know what time I'm going to conclude my day tomorrow. So because of it being a 1 o'clock start time, it's usually busy during while the game is on. And who knows, sometimes it carries on afterwards. Sometimes it dies afterwards. Um, the point is, it may be too late for me to do an update tomorrow. So I figured let's do this today. Wastewater scan weekly data. COVID-19 nationwide. SARS-CoV-2 is in the medium category nationally with medium concentrations and a downward trend over the last three weeks. Notably, the South is now in the low category for COVID. That's good. And it says here covid 19 variants, and they talk about the KP family. They don't show here uh, XEC, which 
uh, eventually at some point in time, they probably will add that. And believe it or not, they still do mention some of these variants that we saw back in the summertime. But the key takeaway here is the KP family is making up 75% of the variants. RSV nationally and in all region, RSV is in a low category and not in the seasonal onset just yet. That's good. Influenza flu, A and B is in the low category. And again, that's that's not really rising in all the regions just yet. H5 has been detected in nine states at this time. That is bird flu. And then EV D68, EV D68 continues to be in the medium category nationwide and in all regions in the last 10 days. Approximately 76% of the samples tested detected EV68 norovirus naturally. And in some regions, West and South, norovirus is now in the medium category says here with a downward trend over the last three weeks but we've been noting a few charts that have shown it going up and I think their national trend chart was showing it going up as well did I not just show that the other day sometimes I don't understand what they say compared to what I see on their charts all right moving on to Ireland now there is a rise in COVID hospitalizations as the new XEC COVID variant spreads new symptoms to be wary of and you know, they always try to say that, but really a lot of these symptoms that people are reporting have occurred at some point or another with the various different variants. And of course, in people that have gone on to suffer long COVID, it's just that when they say new symptoms, that's just a scare tactic. And I hate to even put that, say it like that. I'm not trying to minimize anything. It's just, um, they're trying to, I think they're trying to get clicks. They're trying to get views. But the point is, XEC is nothing to take lightly. It only takes one case of COVID for you to go on to develop long COVID. Maybe you've had COVID three times before. Maybe it turned out fine. Now comes your fourth case and suddenly this go around. Uh, you're not improving. It's worse. You go on to develop long COVID. That does happen. It happens almost all the time. We see reports of people having multiple cases. They're fine. Then they say, oh, this is the one that did me in. Yes, it can turn out that way all right in new jersey there has been a case of measles yes measles it's a highly contagious disease and looks like there is potential for some exposure in central and northern new jersey in monmouth county and then up in the area of elizabeth we're not going to read out all of these various uh, different exposure times here on video. It take too long. But I did tweet this out. If you are in that area, uh, you can go check out the tweet over on my X account. That is COVID data report or just type in data report. It should come up. I mean, I've done a lot of tweets on Twitter over the past few years. All right. Taking a look at the pollen levels for today. Not terribly concerned. 56% of the country is in low to medium status. We do have some orange and yellow in the south. A little bit of yellow in Idaho as well. But the rest of the country, for the most part, is in the green. Taking a look at air quality values for today. And we're going to see probably much of the same. I'm looking at this one for the first time as you are in. We'll probably find, oh yeah, the West Coast is doing really bad. And I said much of the same. Actually, there is a little bit of a change here. Look at some of these yellows and oranges. They're worsening in some of the plains. And they're starting to spread a little bit more to the east. We even see a little bit of yellow in Pennsylvania. And a couple of places in New England today. But I'm not terribly concerned there. This is what I'm concerned about. The Northwest. These wildfires, they continue to go. I mean... There's a major drought issue for as much rain has fallen in the southeast. The rest of the country is dealing with real drought issues. If you haven't seen my video from yesterday over on my Climate Data Report channel, I advise you to go check that out. I showed a climate map and I talk about how there's not going to be a lot of rainfall over the next 7 to 10 days. Yeah, this it's, it's not good. There may be some rainfall up around Seattle area, but... It's going to be dry for much of the rest of the country, which means more wildfire potential. And, of course, more wildfire smoke means more bad air quality. So if you're in these areas, you may want to consider wearing a mask. All right, moving on. Here is my uh, Climate Data Report X account. And I did have here somewhere the video that I did yesterday. There it is right there. There's the video I did yesterday. Uh, next one will probably be sometime next week. I'm going to do one to two videos a week on that channel as needed. And we'll see what happens. All right, moving on to hopefully taking a look at Philadelphia's numbers today. And 
Now, we still can't look at Philadelphia's EMS calls, but we can do a live look in at what's going on in the surrounding counties, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. We do see there are currently about 10 calls right now, not terribly busy. Cardiac emergency a couple times, general weakness. Taking a look, whoa, much different story in Chester County, Pennsylvania, where it does appear to be busy at the moment. We see childbirth, which is maternity labor, seizures, respiratory difficulty, heart problems three times, uh, sickle episodes. Uh, respiratory difficulty a couple times, sick person, and diabetic emergency, EMS standby, that could potentially be a sporting event, that's what that stands for. Taking a look at what's going on in Canada, let's refresh this in case there's a surprise update. COVID-19 is moderate at this time, flu A is low, flu B not detected, RSV is low at this time. Walgreens this week, the positivity rate was continuing to drop, it was at 18.4%. Alright, something we did not look at yesterday, and that is the CDC wastewater page. I have some really good news here. Take a look at this. Wastewater COVID-19 national trend. Yep. You're seeing that correctly. It's in the low category. Never mind with medium, it has dropped to low. So that is really impressive. It's continuing to drop. Eventually it will bottom out and it will eventually rise again. When that's going to be, not 100% certain. I think it's coming soon and there will definitely be a rise around the holidays. All right, taking a look now at, uh, well, actually, no, let's take a look here at this map here. I want to show you something here. The blue sites, you know, dark blue, low levels of COVID. Look at New York State. There's a lot of them there. There's a lot of them starting to show up on the map. In fact, we're back up to 227 sites. Those red sites, down to just 52. Still quite a few, but hey, that's significantly better. And there's still 225 orange sites. But again, this is dropping. We'll have a look at some of these wastewater sites on my next video update. All right, taking a look now at those emergency department visits and we're not going to go state by state because really it's pretty much uniform nationwide there may be just one or two states that are doing its own thing but for the most part everywhere is dropping at this time and you can see it is a pretty steady drop at this time and that will continue because if cases are not right if wastewater is not rising yet well we know anything hospital related lags that so this drop will actually continue which is fairly impressive already my notes for today, first off, something of my own, and that is, it's now fall. We went through the summer, well, spring's long gone, but we went through the summer. Maybe you haven't checked your filters on your air purifier in a while. Hopefully you're using a HEPA air purifier. Now would be a good time to change your filters. And me, I got some new pre-filters just in the mail. I desperately needed them. And the regular HEPA filters, mine takes three, so... I got them too. Now would be a great time to change your filters because, you know, fall, there can be uh, bad air qualities as well. And especially if you are in anywhere that's dealing with the wildfires or that chemical business that happened down there in Georgia. If you're in any of those areas, especially the wildfires right now, uh, your HEPA air purifier is probably getting extra work and it's probably collecting a lot more dirt and the smoke more the, the smoke it's probably getting dirtier faster is what i'm trying to get at so yeah you may want to uh, consider cleaning it or maybe you're in a household where you have a lot of pets and if so we we have a cat here and because of that my pre-filters tend to pick up some more cat hair so that's going to work away at your pre-filter faster and if you don't change your pre-filter well guess what happens your hepa filter gets dirty quicker so you should be changing your pre-filter at least every so many weeks or just pop off the filter once in a while. just pop off the cover once in a while and see what it looks like if it looks dirty change it and i get it they can be expensive but it is an important tool clean air is very important not only because of air qualities but because of these viruses as well already now for some data from cjs 83172 and then that will be it for today daily weekday reporting states florida 29 new deaths added for yesterday and 2,487 cases and 189 deaths were added this week with only 71 of those deaths coming from over the last uh, two weeks. New Jersey, 344 new cases and two new deaths added yesterday with 2,360 cases and eight deaths added this week. 
New York, 988 new cases added today and 5,979 cases and 60 new deaths added this week. Puerto Rico, 206 new cases and 6 new deaths added today with 1,296 cases and 12 deaths added over the last 7 days. Weekly reporting states, Alabama, Mississippi, 15 new reported deaths. California, 3,824 new positive tests and 87 new deaths. Idaho, 422 new emergency department visits. Is it me or does that seem like a really high number for Idaho, which is not one of the biggest states in the United States? That just seems really high for this day and age. Illinois, 34 new reported deaths. Louisiana, 724 emergency department visits and 15 new deaths. Missouri, 29 new CDC reported deaths for the fourth consecutive week. Remember, this is all COVID. Uh, Montana, 486 new cases and three new CDC reported deaths. New Hampshire, seven new state reported deaths. Pennsylvania, 476 new CDC reported hospitalizations and 30 new deaths. South Carolina, 19 new CDC reported deaths. Wisconsin, 898 new positive tests. And wow, this is, mind you, this is a multi-week number. 217 New CDC reported deaths. We'll have to see how BNO News handles that. If they report uh, that um, 217 within their total, then there would be a significantly higher weekly total from BNO News. Will be interesting to see how they play that. West Virginia, 1,115 new positive tests and 22 new CDC reported deaths. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Saturday edition of the virus update. And if you were paying attention, you did note here that I put pandemic update instead of virus update in my notes. Yep, I made one of my little mistakes, but hey, that's okay. Because guess what? COVID is still a pandemic. I mean, we just had a multi-week total of deaths from Wisconsin, which was 217. That's totally ridiculous for this day and age. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. I'll see you all again next time. Don't know if that's going to be tomorrow, because remember, I'm going to be working tomorrow, and plus, it could end up being a slow news Sunday, but hey, if I'm done early enough, maybe I will put something out there in relation to wastewater, and you never know, news can pop up at any time. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend, and thanks for watching.